Hey everybody and welcome to battle number 8 of my 19 hour Pokemon Battle Revolution Marathon. I am up against a person who goes by at Kurun um, and um, before uh, I post any other battles I'm just going to let you know that I actually run across him multiple times in the battles. He has two teams that I see and um, he is shown in this marathon three times so he's gonna get a lot of attention <laughs> in this but it's a good thing because I really like both of his teams um, you haven't gotten to see his second one yet but this one is very similar to mine um, at least in the fact that it has Mantine and Miltank on it um, so that's a really cool uh, similarity between both of our teams um, I end up picking Mantine uh, instead of Miltank. I don't think Miltank would be that great against this team, but Mantine looks like it might be, so um, let's hope I'm right and this turns out in my favor. <clears throat> Mantine is usually a good choice with this team anyway because I see a lot of fire types um, come out against Monica's Pass simply because, you know, Dustock, Skarmory, and Registeel are all uh, weak against fire. So yeah, it's um, typically a good idea to bring Mantine out anyway. And Miltank too, since she has thick fat. But here I'm up against Jinx, and I'm not used to seeing Jinx a lot. Um, I don't see her... Um, in battle very often but she switched out immediately and um, Torkoal is sent in so I end up wasting a turn using agility um, I, I didn't know if uh, Jinx was gonna stay in or not but she didn't so now it's pretty much square one um, Skarmory's faster than Torkoal anyway so I decided to go with Rock Slide because uh, Skarmory has an Aka Berry and I don't think that um, he will go down <clears throat> to whatever attack Torkoal has. But Fire Blast is freaking powerful anyway, and so his Skarmory is taken out. Um, that is unfortunate, and it caught me off guard. Um, I thought that the Aka Berry would at least help Skarmory survive a little bit, but even still, um, she wouldn't be able to take down Torkoal anyway, um, even with Rock Slide, because Torkoal is so defensively bulky. So right here I decided to bring out Lunatone instead of Mantine. I figure if, um, if Kurun brought out Mantine himself, then if I brought out my Mantine, uh, Torkoal would be swapped out, and once again we'd be at uh, square one. The red corner calls their Pokemon back. Interestingly, he switches in Mantine anyway. And I tried to put it to sleep, but um, it has a Chesto Berry to wake it up. Um, I'm guessing this Mantine has a rest set, so I'm going to have to be cautious about that. Um, Lunatone. I'm worried about leaving Lunatone in because if this Mantine is anything like mine, it has Surf and can take Lunatone out really quickly. So I'm pretty much forced to bring in my uh, own Mantine and um, pretty much do what I was thinking that Kurun was going to do with Torkoal if I would have brought out my Mantine, if that makes sense. Um, but it uses Toxic instead of Surf, so I'm guessing it predicted a switch out to something else and toxic on my mantine is not really that great because uh, <laughs> he's supposed to be bulky too but he can't be he can't do that good a job if he's poisoned <clears throat> so this is um, a really uh, big upward battle for me it was confused. I'm not surprised that Mantine attacked itself in its confusion, because it usually happens to me. Um, it hasn't really been happening to me in this uh, marathon, though, which is surprising. Um, luck is not always on my side, so at least I can say that I can't complain much, because uh, it's been on my side so far. I guess he expected a switch here. I mean, I guess, but um, if he only has 
uh, Surf, which he does, um, as his only attacking move, then um, I'm I'm guessing he just did that because he knew that Surf would heal me up. He assumed I had Water Absorb, and he assumed right, because <laughs> otherwise why would I have switched out from Lunatone for Mantine expecting a Surf? I decided to bring Lunatone back in here because I kind of thought that maybe Mantine would be like a supporter Pokemon, but he ends up switching out Mantine anyway, probably because he can't do anything else to my Mantine. <clears throat> so I probably should have left mine in. But here I'm not even going to bother using Hypnosis anymore because I don't want to deal with the misses or anything like that, so I decided to go with Ancient Power hoping for a stat boost, but instead I get a critical hit on Torkoal, which is also really beneficial to me. Um, but what I'm really looking for is a stat boost, because I think that's the only thing that's really going to help me win this match. <clears throat> so Jinx comes out again. i um, not sure why uh, Mantine wasn't sent out, but... Um, I guess for the same reason, he'd end up causing me to switch out, and if he got caught using Surf, then uh, it would heal Mantine up and completely waste his efforts. Not completely, but it would for at least that turn. And I get another <laughs> KO and um, a critical hit, but unfortunately Ancient Power does not boost. Lunatone stats, which is the only thing that I was really going for. So I'm kind of figuring that even it, though Kurun is down to his last Pokemon, it's still going to be a struggle for me to even try to win. Because I have Mantine who is um, poisoned and also uh, up against a Pokemon who I know is special, specially defensive. So neither Mantine nor uh, Lunatone will do such a wonderful job. Once again, I switched in my Mantine because I thought that he was going to use Surf um, on Lunatone, but it didn't work out that way. So I'm just going to end up doing my thing and confusing him too. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> so I guess I got my revenge when it comes to confusion, but right here I really should have shifted in uh, Lunatone again, just because Mantine was confused and there was a good chance that it would, he would attack himself once again. Um, it just would have worked out in my favor to switch out Lunatone and maybe try for another uh, Ancient Power and possibly knock this Mantine out. Because I knew otherwise it would just be, you know, chip damage at um, that Mantine, and mine is going down to poison in the next turn, so it, it wasn't a good idea to keep mine in. But then I was thinking um, also that that Mantine was just a supportive Mantine and not really an attacker, so I didn't know exactly what to expect. It snapped out of its confusion. But this is pretty much just a confusion war right now. Um, that's why this battle was drawn out so much, because neither Mantine could really do anything to each other. But of course, my Mantine attacks itself, and I go down. So now with just Lunatone left, all I have to do is uh, <laughs> pretty much hope that that Mantine is nothing but a supportive Pokemon and doesn't have any attacking moves in his arsenal. Um, I don't know if I go with Hypnosis here or go for another Ancient Power. But, um, I'm, yeah, okay, I go with an Ancient Power. But, of course, this Mantine does have Surf, and that is going to take out Lunatone for the game. And he got his revenge, too, with a critical <laughs> critical hit on Lunatone. But you know what? Honestly, I'm not so uh, upset about losing to Kurum because his team is awesome, and he had a couple of Pokemon that were a lot like mine. 
So I really enjoyed this battle and I enjoyed this person and I'm glad that I met him uh, three times during the course of this marathon. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this battle and I will see you guys in the next hour.